it's around 11 o'clock. Got up at like 8, um, out of my room at like 8.30. And I was talking to three people who walked the Camino from Israel. Uh, I mean, there's not much you could say or do in this situation. So I just offered my presence. But one of the guys wanted to talk about it and I asked questions and he explained a lot of what was going, I don't know where I'm going, I'm going to the cathedral right now. A lot of what was going on, the history, so we talked for three hours, um, <clears throat> just about what was happening, why it was happening, the different factions of each side, and it was a lot of information. It's, it is really sad to see, um, but then we just went out and got a little food, and we smoked a cigarette, and talked about like role-playing and LARPing, and <laughs> a little lighter, lighter stuff than that. Um, but it was really cool for me to actually talk because to someone from Israel about what was going on and hearing their perspective it was very interesting to me because there's a lot of sides to it. It's like you were saying, it's not it's not good versus evil. There's two sides with different interests, and in those sides, there's different factions and groups with different motives and beliefs. It's very complicated. But now I'm gonna walk to the cathedral. I don't know if I'm gonna leave blue today or not. I'm kinda just gonna follow my heart and see where it takes me. This is where I'm walking. It's pretty cool. A lot of, a lot of buses. It's a pretty cool city, even though it's raining. into that building and now I'm in the city hall and we can look around there's this huge interactive map of Porto so I'm just gonna do some exploring in here uh, so this is so cool I can press something I don't know what it says but and it like does this whole map around the city where I can change it to this <laughs> it's pretty cool I might need to Google Translate this. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Whoa. They really don't let you see too much in here. So I'm probably going to go to the cathedral. Yeah. Porto. Nice and rainy. I talked to the security guard and he gave me a place to go to go to the top and see the city. So I'm going to try to walk there now. This is the fanciest McDonald's I've ever seen. Gotta go. <laughs> so, uh, it's so rainy. I don't know where I'm going anymore. There was a roadblock and now I'm kind of just walking. But I'm used to that. Cathedral up there. I'm gonna make my way. I'm not sure if it's open or not. So I'm in here now. A museum and a church and a tower. Very cool. There's more steps. I guess I'm gonna 
was higher than where I was before. But it's so windy, it's so much fun up there. It's so, so beautiful. This place was built in the 17th century and it's a museum and a church and the largest clock tower in Portugal when it was built. It's really cool. The Christ Gallery, uh, someone collected all those and donated them after he died. He just loved all it. Um, but now the guy, the security guy, recommended to go to the bridge, so I'm going to go there. Heading to the bridge. Very slippery roads. I just slipped on the corner of this. It's so rainy. Working my way up, two up there. First one on the bottom, now I'm gonna go on the top. I made it to the top, which is over there. I might just chill up here for a little bit though. Now we're to the top. Going to like the market here. And some mosh pit people. Oh no. Made it to the market. It smells so good. And I'm so hungry. It's gonna be great. It looks so tasty. There's so much stuff. I'm making my way through every row until I buy something. Because I want to see everything before I make a decision. Cheese. So much cheese. Food and flowers, the place got everything. I'm getting some wine. I just had one of those. It was so good. I had the Porto with it, and this guy from Seattle was talking to me. He was very right wing, but it was interesting hearing his perspective. Not that I agree with it, but it's interesting. And uh, if I keep an open mind to one group, I need to keep an open mind to another group. Uh, so it's interesting. I wanted to hear more about where he comes from and his background to get to the point he was at. But, I don't know. I enjoyed my meat and my wine. <laughs> I got an oyster. It was so yummy. The oyster was so good. <laughs> Last thing, I got this chicken thing. It looks good. Well, it's good. I'm walking to the bus station. Going to Lisbon. Yeah, going to Lisbon. Sure. I'm walking there, so I guess I'm going. Let's see if I get a bus. It's like a 30 minute walk, it's really not bad. I get nothing is long anymore. No walk could ever be long. It's like, ah, 30 minutes, okay. A dollar pepperoni roll. Not as good as West Virginia. Still very good. On the bus. I gotta stop just waiting to buy a ticket because it went up fifteen dollars. When I could have bought it for five, I had to get it at twenty. Same thing happened with the hostel last night too. When I see it low, I just gotta buy it. I don't know why I wait. Makes no sense, but I'm headed to Lisbon. I made it to Lisbon. That was such a long bus ride. Eating all that food and the oyster before was not a good call. I definitely regretted that on the way. Uh, I just want to get to this place. This bus station is so confusing. 
I'm just gonna call an Uber because I just want to get to the hospital and stay. I'm dumb traveling here. I just want to lay down. But yeah, <laughs> true that. I don't feel great. But it's about ten. I got to the hospital. Um, I'm feeling great. Still a little like woozy from the bus, but. I'm gonna edit this and then go to sleep. I'm in Lisbon. The hostel people that are working here are really nice. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna travel. I'm, I'm staying there for two days, which is good, so settling down. Peace. Oh.